In today's video, we're going to be playing some 2v2s, and we are actually one single point of MMR off of hitting SSL3. Now, I know the last two videos I've been like, it's SSL3, it's SSL3. This is the video where we get it. We're one point off, so all we have to do is go one game positive. And we actually played up against a semi-pro player, and he was hitting some disgusting shots. So you guys will see what happens in the video. I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all in game number one. Many times, I get people coming into my Twitch chat or commenting under my YouTube videos saying this. I'm hard stuck in this rank. My teammates all suck. I can't get out. Jamaican coconut. Please, 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 please coach me. Please, please, please. To which I always promptly respond, no, because I simply do not have the patience to coach people. Luckily for you all, Esports Tower does have the patience to coach you out of being hard stuck silver. Esports Tower is an online program slash club designed to help you level up your skills. Esports Tower has several coaches which can help you level up your own skill individually, as a team, watch over your personal VOD slash replays, train your mechanics, and even help you get scholarships to college, all just for playing Rocket League. Oh yeah, and did I mention that I also play games with members of the Esports Tower Club once a month? They have free as well as paid tiers and any level of players welcome into Esports Tower. If you sign up using code COCONUT in all caps at the checkout, you actually get two weeks of Esports Tower's premium program paid for by me. So, sign up today and good luck. Alright, getting into game number one. We are one MMR off of getting SSL3 again, and our opponent is AFK. So that's, uh, that's always a good start for us. Try to get this into the ground double. Oh, I can't actually get the double part of the ground double. Just kind of slammed it into the ground. Because both of them were mispositioned, though, neither... I knew that neither of them was going to be able to get to the ball if I did hit it into the ground, and, you know, unfortunately, I just couldn't get back to it myself. So, good idea, but bad execution. Okay, try to just stay on this. Get a touch towards the mid there. Dap Dap is not going to have a lot of boost here, so hopefully Doo Doo Far can just get a good touch. Maybe he can hit it back to me? My dog is currently scratching on my door to get in right now. I don't know how she got past the dog gate, but either way, that's going to be a shot. That's going to be a goal. Uh, maybe I should let her in in between games just so she's like a little bit more calm. I'm not really sure what's going on with her, but either way, good uh, good first shot. Ooh, my hair's kind of messed up. Eh, hopefully that didn't bother you all too much. All right. Nice, good touch there. Make sure to touch the ball. Um, okay. Nice, he's going back to get that boost. I'll just fake going up the wall here. Hit it over one. Not the best touch there. Oh, no. So he realized that I wanted to pass it, you know, kind of after. Uh, after he had already committed to the bump. And then he tried to, like, do... He tried to basically just hit the brakes and go for the ball anyways, even though he wasn't originally planning to do that. And it kind of just made it so that, obviously, his bump wasn't effective because he wasn't going for the bump anymore. And the shot wasn't really that effective because, you know, he had to kind of hit the brakes to get the shot. So that's one of those times where he kind of was in between two different decisions. And it almost would have been better to either just stick to his original one or just not uh, go for it at all. Okay. He's going to get that boost. That was a nice little pre-flip double there. Okay, I'll try to hit this over. Just take a 50. Bosco's going to have that, but he's going to be a little bit awkward. And Dudu Fart's able to take a challenge. I'll just play the 50 here. That's going to be a goal, isn't it? No, nah, he's on the boost. Okay, good. Good. Dap Dap decided to take the boost there instead of... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. I did bump him, so my teammate could have gone. Just decided not to. Nice, good hit over the top. Doo Doo Fart should be there. Nice, that should be a goal. Nice shot. Good follow from him. Nice, good shot, good shot. All right, we'll cheat up here. We got three minutes left, two goals up. Pretty good spot for us to get SSL3 here. Oh no. All right, take this full boost, spin on the touch. That's over me. Good shot from, good save from Dudu Fart, I mean. Try to hit it around him. Oof. I was trying to like purposefully get my reset on the side of the ball so that I could hit it basically to the side with the reset instead of hitting it up. Uh, Cause I knew that they were pretty much both gonna be, like if I used the reset there and I hit it to the, I hit it up, it was just gonna go into the crossbar. So I knew that if I wanted the reset to be effective, I had to just get the reset out to the side so that it changed the direction of the ball, but not the height. Get a demo on him there, just to help out. Oh, okay, he got faked out by nothing. 
He got faked out by nothing there. That's unfortunate. No problem. No problem. I mean, he had a... Uh, I'm not gonna say he had all day to read the ball, but he could have even like jumped off of the post and went onto the ground, you know, if he wanted to. But I guess he was a little bit scared of the guy that was following it up, thinking that, you know, they were gonna have a touch a little bit sooner than, uh, than they actually did. Okay, I'm just gonna take this. That should be fine. He can take that. I knew that there was a really low chance of him actually getting the, a good shot there on the net. So rather than, you know, jumping for it and rather than panicking, I just let him touch it. And I just kind of assumed, like, all right, dude, you are not getting a good enough shot here that I need to be worried about it, and then I need to be committing my boost to it. So I just kind of stayed on the ground there, let him touch it, let him waste his boost and his positioning. And, uh, you know, I just kind of just got back. I'm going to get them on him. Okay. Try to hit this up to the wall. Get a ceiling pinch. Not really the most powerful ceiling pinch in the world. That's fine, though. All right, he's gonna take that. I'll wait on him. Oh, oh, that was a little, a little rude there, buddy. Don't you think? Oh, he's not gonna be able to get that. Unfortunately, he hit it back to them as well, so they're gonna get possession. And I just took that back corner boost, so I don't, I don't even know if he has boost. Hopefully, he can take that. Nice, good touch. I'll take this mid boost. Just go for a double. Okay, obviously you get bumped, so I'm not gonna be able to get the double, but I do get it over him. Take this. I nice. try to just hit it over Dap. Can't do it. He's gonna get this as well. I'll just take this full boost here. Let him go. Maybe he can force the ball back to me. Okay, I noticed that Bosco got like a bit of a heavy touch there. So I'm just gonna be able to challenge that. Hopefully he can go. He's got zero boost though. Nice. Luckily it took Dap Dap long enough to the point where I could actually just challenge. Okay, my dog's still scratching at my door. You gotta relax, Sophie. You gotta relax, girl. Right, I'm gonna fake this. Uh, he's gonna have a touch there. I'll just be able to backflip. Nice. I was moving back just in case they got like a really crazy like big bang or anything like that, but they're not doing it, so. I'm gonna wait on Dap Dap. Nice, I'll go for this. Try to get a demo. Oh. Okay, nice, GG. All right, we're gonna get right into game two, but before we get into game two, I guess I have to let my dog in, don't I? Sophie, what's the matter, girl? Come here. Come here, Sophie. What's the matter, buddy? Come here. Come here. Oh, okay. Well, she's just gonna hide down here because big old girl. Oh, she's a big old girl. I think there's thunder in the area, so she's kind of freaking out. She gets scared of, uh, of sound. But anyways, we'll get right into game number three. I'll see you all then. It's game number two. Ah! Okay, getting into game number two. It looks like Bosco and Dap Dap decided to part ways. Uh, which is crazy. It's always funny when you play people that are partied, and then, you know, you beat them, and then very next game you run into them and they're not partied anymore. It's even funnier when they're not partied, and then they still get on each other's team. Uh, because you already know that one of them was like, Alright, dude, I'm getting off. I don't want to play anymore. And then they just run into each other. It's, it's hilarious. Very awkward when it happens to you, but, you know, it's funny when it happens to them. Okay, I tried to, like, redirect that around him gently, but... Wasn't able to do it. Expert's gonna pre-jump this. That should be fine. Gotta get a double there. Unfortunately, I hit the ball a little bit too low. And because I had my flip, your flip cancels your vertical uh, momentum. So even though I was moving down when I did originally touch the ball, because I flipped, I was not able to get down any faster. That was also a really good touch from Expert and a really difficult read for me. Um, I definitely could have read it if I were a better player, but unfortunately I am not. So that's just going to be a goal for them. And, uh, I'm lucky. Good 50. I'll see if he goes mid here. If he goes mid, I can just hit it down. Nice. Good snipe from him. Nice shot. I had to hit that down fast, and I knew that it was going to be a difficult read for him, but he did very well to read it, so good job. And a nice shot from him. Oh, that's just going to be a goal. I don't... I think they were, like, trying to fake that kickoff, or maybe Dap Dap... Dap Dap just had a bad kickoff. I'm not really sure, but... Oh, yeah, he just, like... He wave dashed or something? I'm not sure. Either way, we'll take the free goal. I don't really mind it. I don't mind it at all. I'll call for the back left kickoff here. Kind of cheat towards the side. Yeah, that's going to go up the wall and out. He's going to be on that, so I'll just let him touch it. He's going to waste all of his boost here to do not really much. Try to stay on this. 
Okay, he got it around me. Osco can keep it in. Flick that. Not flick it, but just shoot it. I'll force this. Nice. I have enough boost to literally just go in there and take the challenge and just drive into it. You know, I'm not even jumping. I'm not even really committing myself longer than I need to. I'm just simply driving into the play. And not only is it going to disrupt them enough to the point where, you know, obviously I touched the ball, so it dispossessed them. But also it does kind of force them to make like a rushed slash errant touch. And it's going to make that touch a lot, a lot harder for them to control. Okay. Try to flip that towards the mid there. Not quite the most effective or deadly flip reset there, but that's all right. I'm just going to go straight up for the ball here because I saw that Expert was hitting it forward really, really quickly. I have 35 boost here. Um, uh, okay, he's going to take that. That's fine. We got an Expert. Hey, DapDap's going to have that. I'm just going to take the shot here. Oh my god. Wow, what a terrible shot. <laughs> an Expert's back for that, so now he's going to have a counterattack. Oh, he jumped. Oh, wow, that's a disgusting shot from Expert. So I didn't know whether or not he was going to want me to jump uh, or whether or not I was supposed to go for it there, but that is a really good shot from Expert. And yeah, unfortunately, Bosco just barely doesn't read it, which is, you know, it's fine. He said, nah, I think I'm carrying. Expert is 800 points. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude, the, the two goals that they got were just two absolutely, like, wonder shots from Expert, so... Can't be too upset about it. I mean, I can be, but I'm choosing not to because, you know, well played, right? I would be more upset if it was, you know, they were up by two goals because I had owned gold twice or something, you know? That would be more upsetting, but, you know, when the opponent's playing good Rocket League and, and scoring good shots, you just kind of got to tip your cap. Yeah, he's playing that. That's fine. He's got no boost. Oh, no, that's going to be pretty bad. It's going to be hard for him to help me and get back there because he did um go for the pinch and it kind of like bounced his ball or bounced his car off the wall and off the ball i just get a demo on him there unfortunately not able to do so but luckily dap dap does not have enough of a good control there to make anything happen okay, you gotta watch for the demo from expert nice i mean he demoed my teammate obviously but as soon as i see him demoing my teammate i know that he can't really get back to the ball to shoot it my next question is is he going to go for a demo on me Oh no, that's going to be a goal, isn't it? Oh my god, that's such a bad play. That's such a bad play from me. I kind of I kind of panicked there um, as Expert was driving into the ball. And even though my teammate did end up getting the bump to help me out, I, it was just too late. I had already panicked and I didn't want to lose my flip. Yeah, that's going to be over, so I'll just take this. Get on the touch here. I'm going to pinch that in. Okay, that's fine. Good demo for my teammate there. Hopefully he can dispossess Expert. And then maybe I can go for a solo play here. Okay. Expert's going to be awkward on that. I lied. Okay, nice. I wanted to help him out there just by challenging the ball, just in case Expert was going to go for, like, a bump or something. Okay, he gets demoed. Hit that high. I'll wait on them. Click it high. Hit on dap dap. Yeah, I can... He can take that. Okay, nice. I'll fake this. Okay, I can go for this. And the touch. Nice. Bosco can go. Let him take it. Get a demo on Expert? No? Wait. Yes! Oh my god, how is that a goal? I'm just so confused. I'm so confused as to how that play worked. I guess because I went for the demo on Expert, it made him awkward, so he missed the clear. And then my teammate went for... He just went up for the ball, faked it, and then... Flick it over. Try to get a double. Expert's going to be there. Just patient. Oh, no. How did I not get a demo on him? I mean, not that it matters, really. Don't tell me. And that's just perfect. That's perfect. How did Expert even get that? I guess he just shot it, but that's tough. That is such a tough, tough shot. He said he's got it. Oh, no. I should have listened. I didn't realize he was calling for the Spanish. I hit it up. Wait, keep it up, Bosco? No, unlucky. GG. 
All right, we'll get right into game number three. I'll see you all then. All right, game number three. Now, we are still above SSL 3 MMR 2100, uh, even though we, you know, won one and then lost one. And that's because Expert was so high ranked that we really didn't lose that many points for losing against him, which sucks because we definitely could have won that game. But a few bad mistakes, you know, a few peak shots from Expert, and that's going to be it. Okay, just forced him over. Uh, ball goes over the crossbar. Hopefully he forces this for me because I have full boost behind him. Nice. Hopefully Andy just doesn't go for that. Nice pop this ball up. Just go air dribble over. It's going to be off. He can shoot that. That's free. Oh, not free. Nah, not free. I mean, it could have been a better shot for sure, but either way, you know, there are actually people in the net, so I can't really call it free. Now I'm just going to get a soft touch here, flip towards the wall. Nice, get another soft touch. Hopefully he can just go for that. I have full boost here. Uh, yeah, I kind of... If, if he's not going to be able to control that, I kind of wish he just leaves it for me. Because if he leaves it for me, then, you know, I'm able to just control, get an air dribble, get like a dribble or something like that. Um, but if he's going to control it, then, yeah, obviously that's fine. That's what we want. Pinch? No, close. I've been working on those, too. Like, just, you know, not even necessarily like crazy ground pinch setups, like uh, from the ceiling and then all the way to the ground. But even just from the wall and being able to use the flip that I have from the wall to get a ground pinch, that's also a super, super strong shot that I can definitely utilize a little bit more often that I almost never go for now. Okay. Been on Raya said. Yeah, that's going to be a little awkward. Hopefully, you can jump for that. Okay. Gonna fake this. Go over him. Nice. I had to fake that initially just to make sure that I didn't get demoed, but I didn't really have the read, and also I didn't really want to touch it. Um, but if I fake it, you know, the, the guy that was going to shoot it was the last man. So if I fake that and he goes, like, if I go over him, if I actually do go for the ball there, it's it's just a free goal. So it's he knows that, and he's not going to go if I fake it. Okay, nice. Shot? Ooh, close little 1-2 play. Just hit it out to the wall, fake the double. And then as soon as, you know, he realizes, like, oh, man, I, I should fake this. The ball's already in his net. He does not expect... <laughs> he does not expect me to be, you know, shooting the ball immediately after that. And also, if I do shoot the ball, he expects, like, oh, okay, you know, it'll probably be off target. No, okay. That's on target. That's in your net. He can't get back. Perfect. This guy's a great lobby to be in when I'm not warmed up. I think that was sarcasm, but I don't know. I don't think he would just be, like, insulting me slash the other people in this lobby. Uh, but but maybe he would I, I don't know this guy maybe maybe that's his personality So I'm assuming that's sarcasm. He's saying that this is not a good lobby to be in when he's warmed up That's fine though. I mean we're winning so it doesn't really matter uh, I'll wait on him Let Andy take it Okay, he's gonna take that Wait on the touch. Maybe you can stay on it. Uh, I gotta wait on Raya said here. You gotta you gotta stall that's gonna be over as long as he's on the backboard. Yeah, that's a perfect perfect play All he has to do there to get a little bit of power into the clear is go for the side flip there And that's exactly what he does. So good job from him All right, he's gonna get that I went on dimes Nice Been on Andy Nice good touch from him I'll let Ryus had take it Nice he can stay on it I'll let him go. I'm gonna dive in now. Just kind of pick my moment to, to dive in there. And the 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 way you know that you should be challenging is kind of just you see. Okay, can I get to the ball before he is re he is able to react? And now for some players, they might be able to react before you would expect them to be able to react, right? But you want to be able to challenge and kind of approach the ball without giving them warning signs, if possible. Which is why the backflip challenge is so useful. Because if you do a backflip challenge, you basically just hide behind the ball. And then, you know, instantly you go from driving forwards to driving backwards and you're on the ball. Right? So if you can challenge the ball, like, by faking and getting close. And then eventually just going for a side flip. And, you know, using that side flip before you even... They can even tell that you turned. If that makes sense. That's how you want to challenge the ball. That's going to be the most effective way to do it. Or, you know, the backflip challenge. And obviously, this is a little bit situational. I'm just going to hit that low, make it hard for him to save. Obviously, it's a little bit situational, you know. Different different times are going to warrant different challenges. But, okay. 
See, like, right there, he expected me to not be able to react to that challenge. That's why he went for it. He expected to catch me off guard, but I could see him quite literally the entire time. And I saw that his car was slowing down. So I knew that I just had to hit it over him. And GG. That's going to be game number three. Um, two wins, one loss. But hey, 2100 is a healthy amount of MMR to be sitting on. I'm pretty happy. This is about 30-ish wins above SSL, give or take. Like a few wins, you know. Uh, but I'm pretty happy about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.